Welcome to eSign Genie, the number one easiest and most collaborative e-signature software in the market. In this short video, I will show you how you can generate an online link from templates and get the document signed. This is a three-step process. First, creating an online form from already created template. Second, copying the link and sending via email to one or more signers who will sign their copy of the same document on the first step. And the last step is the signing process. The signing party receives an online link and signs the document. Once the document gets signed by the first recipient, the remaining signers get the notification to sign in series or parallel, depending on your form settings and e-sign document. The reusable template can be created from the home page by uploading a PDF document. This is already covered in a separate video. If you have already created a template, you can navigate to the template page to create an online document. Select one or more templates from the home page or from your templates page and click on Create Online Form button. The next few steps will tell you more on how to select options while creating the online form. Enter a meaningful online form name that will display to the signer when he or she opens a link for e-signing. Check the form active box to use the form for signing. You can disable the form by unchecking any time later. The Validate Signer email is an extra security measure to ensure that the person who is signing is actually linked to the person's email ID that you sent the document to. It is recommended to keep this checked as yes, but enabling this adds one extra validation step for the signer. Selecting the Show Documents Fields on Form option will first show a fillable form with all the fields on the document. When the signer submits after entering the information on a form, the document will open. The signer can then simply sign and complete the document. If the Show Document Fields on Form is not checked, the online link simply gives access to the signer to the document or contract that will be filled out and signed. The Form Success URL will be used to redirect the signer to the web page of your choice, such as your company product offerings or knowledge base or thank you page, etc. after the document has been signed. The Enable Right panel allows the signers to attach additional documentation while signing. Another option for color selection has been added to match the iframe band color and signature panel color with your website if the online form is open via your website. Instructions will be displayed on the online form and provide the signer information on how to fill out the document or contact. Select or deselect in four sequence workflow if the document is going to be signed by three or more parties. The first person to get the link will always initiate the document and sign it first, and then only the document will go to additional parties. Add the email of the second signer by using Add Me or Add New as required. Update the access privilege of the other recipients depending on whether they are signing the document or not. Save your work to create the form. Click the document link at the bottom left corner of the online form. Copy the link to send to the first signing party. If you need a copy of the same form to be filled out by a group of users, you can distribute the same link to multiple users. Each recipient can sign their copy of the document by clicking on the link. The first signing party clicks on the link received. The link takes the signer to provide his or her information prior to displaying the document or contract to be signed. Please note that the logo on this page will be replaced with your logo if you have uploaded one in the settings. Since I had checked Validate Signer email during the form creation, an access code is sent to the email provided by the signer in the last step. The signer can check the access code received on the email ID provided on the online form. Entering a valid access code provides the signer access to the document and contract. The signer can click on the orange Next button on the left to complete the blue highlighted fields. Click on the blue highlighted field with the Genie icon to sign the document. The signer can choose one of the e-signature options to e-sign. The signer can select the e-signature font style. The e-signature confirmation completes the process and redirects the signer to the page specified on the online form. The next signer will get an email notification and can complete the e-signing steps by clicking on the document link received in the email. The sender or author of the document can now monitor the progress of signatures by logging back in and navigating to the online document page. 
If the sender is also the next signer, he or she can simply click on the View Folder link next to the document and sign the document. When all parties complete signing, the document executed notification is sent to each signer. Each signer can download the signed document with a signature certificate or email themselves a PDF copy of the signed document. This concludes the online form link creation to eSignature Process and eSign Genie. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know if you have any questions or simply sign up and start using eSign Genie.